as we have seen how to read the data from um, kafka in streaming fashion and also apply standard data frame operations to process the data now let us actually see some of the key aspects of writing the data in streaming fashion onto the screen unless and until we use write stream api and uh, uh, use a trigger as part of it uh, the uh, execution of the streaming pipeline will not be triggered already we have executed the logic from here where we have imported type safe config to here where we compute the department wise traffic even though the logic is uh, executed the execution is not triggered it will be triggered only when we say write stream dot format uh, or for each to write into a database format console is to print on the console and then you have to invoke this trigger api which actually trigger the job execution otherwise the streaming pipeline execution will not be triggered that being said here i am creating a new variable called as query and then using this department traffic this is a data frame which have three attributes one is uh, um, visit time second one is department name and third one is department count in this i can use write stream write stream will expose several apis such as for each to write data into a database format to specify format such as console to print the results on the screen so on and so forth so in this case we can use format because to begin with we just want to print the results on the console in streaming fashion and here we have to say console to print the results on the screen once you define a format console now you have to specify output mode so when it comes to output mode with respect to spark structured streaming there are three modes one is append second one is update and third one is complete in each iteration if you want to see um, uh, all the uh, aggregated results whether they are updated in the last iteration or not or current iteration or not then we use complete but if you want to only see those results which are updated since the last run then we have to use update whenever we have aggregations either we have to use complete or update we cannot use append to get the aggregated results append is typically used whenever there are no aggregations involved uh, and only when we have row level transformations such as filter um, and uh, standardizing certain fields uh, at row level so on and so forth hence here either we have to use complete or update complete is typically used for troubleshooting purposes when we actually process data we uh, and try to st store into a database we typically don't use uh, complete instead we use update so that we only get those results which are updated since the last run and then we can take uh, an action on top of the data whatever uh, action supposed to be taken that being said in this case i am specifying output mode as update and then we have to specify trigger and as part of the trigger you have to use this trigger however we haven't imported it that's why it is not uh, uh, auto filling when i hit a tab after typing tri and hence i am uh, coming out of it and then i am actually importing org.apache.spark.sql streaming trigger so this is the uh, api which we need to import uh, to actually trigger as part of the trigger call on top of uh, uh, write stream format output mode now i can say val query equal to department traffic write stream format output mode and then trigger now you see we got trigger auto field here it has several apis one of the api which we can use is processing time where we can actually specify the interval at which the data should be processed and in this case i am saying 20 seconds and then i can say dot and then i can say start typically when we uh, use this approach as part of our application once the query uh, object is created we will say query await termination so that the job will be running every 20 seconds so now you can see that uh, golf and outdoors are accessed only once on 2019 february 6th uh, 158th minute and as the batches are executed we will see different results as we proceed further so the, uh, now you can see that we are getting data in streaming fashion from the kafka topic it is applying the uh, data processing logic and actually showing the results here however in this case we are actually directly specifying group by visit time and uh, department name and we are trying to get count uh, at each minute level uh, using this data however there is a concept of window operations in spark structured streaming if you want to uh, perform window operations using uh, uh, windows and slides then the logic will be a bit different we have to use api called as window as part of the group by and first we have to a window based on timestamp uh, field and then we have to 
uh, group by on uh, department name and then we should be uh, uh, performing the aggregations that is not covered as part of this but when we actually get into the integration with hbs we will improvise the logic even in this area where we will be performing window operations with the different slide intervals as well